not something that you might see every day. We're talking about glass blowing and it is alive in Orange Beach. Our lead plant goes behind the scenes at Coastal Art Center as they're gearing up for a big sale. Welcome to the hot shop. So there's a bowl in there with 2100 degree glass. That's the consistency of honey. Here at the Coastal Art Center of Orange Beach, the art of glass blowing is brought to life. Glass is such a cool medium because uh, it's set up to work with light and then uh, the concept of colors. Artists Dan Rush and Carrie Parks have been working with glass for over a decade. You know, I really just fell in love with it and never, never stopped. <laughs> From basic to ornate, many of their works are hanging in the shop and on display in the art gallery, like this showstopper LED chandelier. A little wooden spoon is called a block. It cools the outside, so it gives her just a little bit of control. Today is all about pumpkins, lots and lots of pumpkins. This fall, they'll sell between three to four hundred. She's going to roll it in that pan of mint colored glass called Frit. She'll put a couple layers on there. Working in tandem, it's a team effort. People always ask how hard I'm blowing. I tell them like blowing bubbles in chocolate milk, but not so hard to get in trouble with your grandma at the restaurant. A little more heat and some more air. So she's blown pretty hard. Get that to expand. She'll be compressing it to take it from looks kind of like a green pepper right now to more of a pumpkin shape. It's a process with a lot of aha moments. Honestly, we joke about how every morning is like Christmas because we get to pull out our work from the day before and see how it turned out because you know everything looks different when it's hot. So when it comes out of the kiln, that's when you're like, oh, all right, <laughs> it worked. So I'm using a furnace, so she's using a torch now to keep that nice and warm. And we can't forget the stem. She'll just press it over the hole that we were blowing through. A little stretch and roll. And wrap it around the little tool there to make the stem. Ooh, that was nice. Some more heat. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> One more quick torch. And into the kiln. There you go. And that's how you make a pumpkin. Where the finished product should look something like this. Come by and watch. Come by and buy. Come by and visit us. In Orange Beach, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News. Well, if it looks like something you'd like to try, they do offer classes, but visitors are welcome to just come and watch.